All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2020-23 action film called Muzzle. And it's an independent film, as far as I can tell. Um, but here's the plot. After his dog is killed in Skid Row, Jake Russell plummets deep into a sinister underworld to uncover the truth about who may be responsible. Now here's some of the cast. Very interesting concept of a film, a very interesting film in general, uh, even though it wasn't the best thing in the world. They definitely highlighted heavy on the Los Angeles drug and homeless problems. They highlighted a lot of stuff, actually. You get insight of mental struggles of vets and law enforcement, the strong bond and respect between the human cop and his partner, that's a dog, the look of the film is a little off-putting because of the temperature tone and lighting used in editing, but I, I got a strong feeling they had to deal with how bright it is, uh, and it was mostly in the daytime that was the the issue. Um, it is in Los Angeles, um, California, so I mean, California is a very bright place in general, so um, yeah, it. It, it makes sense, but th at night it was way, way, way better when it came to everything editing wise and perfect tone. So I love that we got camera point of view from the dogs. What was awesome was every time he would use a command in German, they would quickly translate it uh, like here, here, here and there. Uh, now, I personally wasn't a fan of the super close-ups. They were way too close that it took away from the scenes they did, though. Um, it was more in the, the first 40 to maybe even a half hour of the film they did that, and then they quieted it down with that. So it didn't come that much of an issue. Uh, unfortunately to me, the story felt longer than it should have been. It felt sluggish at times, and the last half felt rushed. Now here is my rating, I'll come back with my final thoughts. Honestly, the writing had potential, but it could have been better. It was an okay film with lots of great camera shooting and a lot of deep feeling of important topics. But what is your guys' opinion on this film? Um, I wasn't going into this expecting very much because um, it is an independent film and it can be either way. Um, but I think the biggest issue that was the downfall of this film, for me personally, was the writing. Um, but yeah, uh, so there's a Netflix film that's Spanish Hollywood or made in Spanish, Span or something, or whatever I said. Uh, and it's called Nowhere, and I'm hoping to try that to get to that tomorrow, uh, like watch it tonight and then get to it tomorrow. Uh, I just came out uh, yesterday, and um, but it's just a lot of things behind the scenes this week, kind of weather changes mess with me, and I don't know if anyone else has that issue um, or if it's just me, but I can't imagine it's just me. Um, but let me know in the comments below if, if you have that issue as well. Um, but, uh, just curious. Um, but remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love, most importantly. Skull.